during your homework, I forgot to bring your homework. Anyway, uh, during your homework, I don't like to see just equation. I would like to see you can construct your cross section. And I can imagine you are telling yourself this story. Hey, we have steel reinforcement in this cross section. So we have tension. We have compression. Which one will be tension? As a steel reinforcement. In between, we have something called neutral axis. This distance of your neutral axis from the top fiber equal small c. If you would like to see strain distribution, strain distribution, so we have something looks like this. Negative compression, we have epsilon. Cu equal 0.003 according to ACI. At the bottom, we can expect at the steering enforcement something called epsilon tension. If this distance is C, this distance will be D minus C, because the total distance between your reinforcement and the top fiber is D. So D minus C can tell you this little distance. If uh, I can tell you a little bit about stress distribution. Your stress distribution, we have only stress compression block at the top. And remember, depth of this block only A and this A not equal C smaller a little bit equal beta 1 times C and also remember the value of your stress here 0.85 F prime C all of these numbers according to ACI if you are talking in concrete design, ACI. If you are talking in a steel design, AISC, American Institute for Steel Construction. Yeah, one more thing. What about uh, blue, the neutral axis? Actually, concrete cracked. Neglected, we only have steel with tension force. And this com com uh, compressive block or compression block has a force, compression force, capital C. Capital C is the volume for this block. So we have 0.85 F prime C, A, B. T, tension force, your area steel, F yield. For a chromium, C must equal T. I would like you to solve any design problem like this. I need you to understand we have strain distribution, we have stress distribution, what is the meaning of C, what is the meaning of T. Um, if you uh, equal this term by this term, you can get your distance A. And your moment, theoretical moment, or sometimes called nominal moment, equal T times D minus A divided 2. If you would like to get design moment, you need to add term called phi, MN, equal phi, T, area steel, F yield, times D minus A divided 2. Anybody remember how can I get phi? Based on what is the value of this strain, I can tell you what is the value of phi. Sometimes 0.9, sometimes 0.65, I think. Sometimes we have equation based on what is the value of epsilon t. Anybody can tell me how can I get the epsilon t strain in steel reinforcement? Yes, do <laughs> triangle similarities <coughs> between this triangle and this triangle. Remember, you already get A. Once you get A and beta 1 is given, or you can figure it out, I can get the distance C. You know C, I can get D minus C. So these distances are known. 
and this value according to ACI 0.003. So I can figure out what is the value of epsilon tension. This value greater than or equal 0.005, your phi 0.9. Uh, smaller than or equal 0.002, your phi 0.65. In between, we have equation to figure it out. I think one or two problem like this in your FE exam. This cross section will be given and the problem is asking about nominal moment or design moment. Based. So okay. Last time also we talked about something very important. If your area steel not given, this value of area steel not given, I'm looking for what is the area steel. I can get something called raw required. I'm sorry, I'm talking about area steel. You are talking about a raw required. Yes, raw is the ratio of steel reinforcement in your cross section. Equal area steel divide B my, uh, find D. So if you know rho, I can figure out what is the area steel. So if you would like to get what is the required area of steel, I can use this equation to get my rho required. Then your area steel required will be rho times B D. Remember, F prime C, F yield given. Uh, F prime C given. Rn in this equation equal M ultimate divide phi b d squared m ultimate from structure analysis. Okay. Also, last time we talked about, hey, not any area steel will be accepted. Your area steel in your cross section must be in between something minimum and something maximum. So we have area steel minimum and we have area steel maximum. Actually, we don't have actual equation for area steel minimum and maximum, but we have rho minimum and rho maximum. Once you get rho, you can get your area steel minimum and the area steel maximum. Area steel in any cross section of reinforced concrete must be in between minimum and the maximum. I would like to explain something very important. Okay, maybe I can assume my area steel between maximum and the minimum, or I can calculate what is the required area steel. You didn't t uh, talk about anything about dimension of your cross, -sex uh, cross section. According to ACI standard, Overall beam depth. H or T. The overall beam depth H shall satisfy the limits in the following table according to ACI. If your beam in your building is simply supported. Simply supported means we have only one span between two supports. That's all. Called simply supported. Your edge can be your span divided 16. That is your span. Anyway. So if we would like to build reinforced concrete beam between this column and this column in this room, our beam is simply supported only between two columns. Your depth, the total, or the overall depth of your beam must be span divided 60. So I have a question. If your span equal 20 feet, let's make it 32 feet. What is H? 
اوكي 32 فيت تايم 12 تو بي انش ديفايدد باي 16 سو يور اتش ماست بي 24 انش اور جريتر I still repeating my sentence. Nothing wrong in your design, but your design is economic or not economic. Somebody will assume this cross section with thickness 24. Somebody else will assume 30 feet. This one is correct. This one is correct. But if you assume your thickness around 20, what do you think? Still correct. Still correct. But, but you need to uh, add compression steel reinforcement to compensate your concrete. Anyway, anyway, we need to follow this table to get economic design. Economic design. If your beam is simply supported, span divide 16. If your beam one in the continuous. So this beam is simply supported from one side, but continuous beam from the other side. So your H equal your span <coughs> divided by 18.5, according to uh, ACI. If your beam, like this one, continuous from this side and this side, your H equal your span divide 21. If your beam is a cantilever, you remember what is the meaning of cantilever? Yes. Yeah. Cantilever is a beam supported only from one side. Sometimes we found this. So your uh, thickness H equal your span of cantilever divide it. So you are talking about thickness. What about the width? Actually, width you can assume it between 12 and 15 inch. 12, 14, 15, in between. So right now, based on dimension of your building, I can figure out what is the span of your beam. I can assume my thickness and my width. So the dimension of the reinforced concrete cross section can be assumed with and thickness. What else? Next step. I'm talking about design steps. Next step. We decided dimensions. Next step. What about steel reinforcement in your cross section? How much steel reinforcement do you need in your assumed cross section? Actually, we have two options. You have two options. First option, from structural analysis, from Riza, after exam number one, we will talk about another software called Riza Floor. Uh, you can get your ultimate moment. What is the moment in your building? From this moment, I can figure out what is the value of R in and then, what is the value of rho required? Hey. Do you remember this equation? Rho required equals this equation. In this equation, everything is given, is known, except <coughs> Rn. Rn is a function of your moment from structural analysis results and B D squared dimension of your cross section. So, from structure analysis, I know M ultimate. From M ultimate, I can calculate Rn. From Rn, I can calculate your rho required. Rho required means area steel required. But be sure your area steel, calculated area steel, in between your limits. Area still minimum and area still maximum. <laughs> That's all. I finished my design. Design means 
what is the dimension of your cross section? How much steel reinforcement do you need? <coughs> That's all. Option number two. Hey, I will assume area steel. Assume any area steel. But be sure you assume the area steel in between your limits, minimum and the maximum. From assume the area steel and your cross section, I can figure out what is the value of Fe Mn. All of these calculations. Once you get Fe Mn, this is your design moment. From a structural analysis, I will make compare comparison between design moment and factored moment from structural analysis. This one must be greater than or equal to this one to make sure your assumption of area steel is safe. So as you like, when you are looking for area steel reinforcement, you have two options. First option, you can get the actual area steel required and make a check to be in between minimum and the maximum. Or you can assume area steel and be sure this area steel will get design moment enough to cover the applied moment from structural analysis. Any question? This uh, one is very important to me. I need to talk about it. <coughs> I'm not sure if some one of you last semester or this semester <coughs> observed this note or not. But before this slide, I would like to talk about this slide test. All the world, everywhere in this world, and also for reason, and any software, all the world, and any software except USA, are drawing your building moment Positive value is down. Negative value is up. I'm sorry. Uh, what do you mean by this point? If you are